Well, I'm presuming that you've downloaded and installed the IBM i ACS package, that's the Access Client Solutions, uh, which is the replacement for the old IBM Client Access package. Uh, you can download it, you can find it on my blog if you want instructions and the links to where the uh, download stuff is. Uh, when you download everything, basically you're going to be downloading one big zip file which has all of the installer in there. It's all based around Java, so obviously you need to make sure that you've got Java installed on your machine. When you run the installer, instructions are all here on my page, it will uh, extract to a temporary work file. You then choose whether you want to run the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version, and it installs. It's that simple. When it's installed, it asks you a series of questions about which components you want to add, and one of the last questions it asks you is whether it wants to write a shortcut to the desktop. I chose yes, and here's my shortcut to the Access Client Solutions. So let's run it and see what happens. As you can see, Java is launching. It takes a few seconds to launch, and here we are within IBM ICS. Um, to connect to a system, we just need to configure one. You can see that up here it says system, and we have no system currently. So let's add one. We add one by going to the system configurations in the management section, and it's asking us what system we want to talk to. I'm at a client site here called AHP, so let's connect to their development and test system. Just give it a name. Obviously you want to use SSL if you are SSL. I happen not to be, so I'm going to leave it turned off and I'm just going to say verify connection. I'm expecting it to work everywhere apart from maybe the navigator. There we are. So we have this verifying connection to navigator. Uh, it can't run on our machine because I know that the uh, navigator service isn't running on the actual IBM I system itself. So I know that, so it's, you may see the same error, but don't worry about it, it's just telling you something isn't running. So let's just save that. There we have our system saved, click close, and now in our tab, our pull down, it tells us AHP test is available. So I'm going to connect to it and just do a 5250 emulator. This is the new version of the old client access green screen emulator. So it comes up asking me my username and my password. And the first time I log in, there we are, I'm straight into my sign on screen. It has all of the functions of the old client access green screen, apart from a few much nicer things. Just using it generally, I find that the font smoothing is much nicer. Uh, it has some really cool options to change the colors um, and other bits and pieces within the screen. But the scaling and how it looks on the screen and the, the choice of fonts is much nicer.